Hello everyone, this is Alka Beta Analyst, and today I wanted to talk some Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts will be seeing increasing time against the Seahawks. And um, I feel as though my Eagles are they getting desperate. This is Alka Beta Analyst. Right, so it's hard to argue the decision that the Eagles are making given Jalen Hurts increasing time. Obviously, um, Carson Wentz is the starter, but I kept saying it all year. Of course, I want Carson Wentz to start, but at some point, we are three six and one team. We are three six and one team. We have to see what this kid can do. We got him in the second round. We use him. Have to use them. You have to justify that pick. Obviously, Jeffrey Lurie not coming to games, being disappointed in practice, and um, somebody somebody will get fired. And um, I believe this is desperation move for Howie Roseman. The reason why because his bad picks over the years, so he has to see what Jalen Hurts can do. Doug Peterson bad play calling. He has to justify that. So he's going to give Jalen Hurts. Um, more time. He, he's going to give him more time. I feel as though, like I always bring this up, I just don't think Doug and Carson match. They just not a match. Um, you know, even in 20, you could say 2017 when we won the Super Bowl, it was easier for Doug to adjust or Doug and Frank Wright, if you want to put those two heads together. When Carson Wentz got out the game, or was out for the season, not just out the Los Angeles or Rams game, but just through the season, he adjusted the playbook really well for Nick Foles. Same thing in 2018, he adjusted the playbook so well for Nick Foles. Um, 2019, it, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't the best year. If you look back at it, we just beat our division the last four games, which was a very weak division. And um, Carson Wentz got illegally hit by Jadavion Clowney. And it would be strange if he can simplify the playbook for Jalen Hurts and he made big things happen. Um, I was just watching Philly Fresh video. He was talking about maybe this is Doug Peterson evil plan to basically get Carson out the way because Doug Peterson was really excited to get Jalen Hurts. He was, and like I said, I believe Carson is great. To be honest, I believe Doug is great. I believe both are great. I just don't think they match. If you're watching the NFL games today, Tom Brady and Bruce Arians, I believe Bruce Arians is a good coach, and I believe Tom Brady is a great coach quarterback but those two just don't match it just don't match and i believe we've gone through that case right now and if we make the playoffs i still think somebody should go i don't see us getting past the first round i don't by evidence of what i see i have to because any team can kick it up i just don't see it in this team i don't see no fight like when you watch the Houston Texans, they a bad team, but you see a fight. You see a fight, man. And with the Eagles, I just, I just don't see a fight at all. Um, even with the what the Falcons, Atlanta Falcons, another bad team. But when I see them play, they fight. They fight, and um, but just the Eagles once again, I, I don't see that. I don't see that. And maybe Jalen Hurts. Maybe he can do some. Uh, once again, I'm. I love the players. I love Carson. I love, you know, Doug Peterson. But the team is just way more important to me. It's whoever's wearing that Eagles logo. Who can help us win? I'm at that point. I don't fight about what players should start this and that. Whoever's helping the Eagles win, I don't care if it's. Doug Peterson, I gotta go, and he's the problem. That hey, see ya. If it's Carson that has to go, see ya. If it's Howie Roseman, I don't care. I just care about what players are wearing that uniform and who's gonna help us win. If they feel as though increasing time for Jalen Hurts give us the best chance to beat the Seattle Seahawks, I'm with it. I'm with it. Um, 
And once again, it's, it's hard. It's getting harder and harder to argue for Carson Wentz. Yes, we can say injuries at the offensive line, but who don't have injuries? Did you another team that's that's always underdogs? The 49ers injuries everywhere, but every single game they fight. It's just who give us the best chance to fight? Who give us the best chance to fight, man? Man, if they feel as though this is the best way, I'm all with it. I just want to see some effort from this team. We losing games. Some games we even won, like against the Dallas Cowboys. Like we won, but what was going on? What was going on? Um, Cleveland Browns completely gave up at at a point. Um, Giants the second time just completely gave up at a point. So I, I just want to see some fight from this team, man. I do, and again, I believe I keep getting off track. I'm sorry. Carson Wentz numbers, they, they hard to argue. He's got the most turnovers, he's throwing picks, he's losing fumbles. It's hard to argue that. It's hard to fight a case for him. Every single team has injuries, and that's why I brought up the 49ers. Injuries as well, but they find a way to win and keep fighting. And they do, and I, I don't care about these injuries. It's always been this man up. We've always been like that in Philly since Super Bowl year. We've always been like that. Always been this man up. So I, I'm sick of using injuries as an excuse. I, I'm getting sick and tired of it. But hey, is it a good excuse? Yes. But at some point, you got you, you to gotta step it up. And I'm like I said in my last video about the Eagles, the last one. I say it's going to get down to a point. It doesn't matter about contracts. It doesn't matter who's getting paid more. It, it it just matters about winning and losing. Take the politics out of it. That's why I believe that Jalen Hurts increase in time. Yes, Carson Wentz is a $100 million man, but the $100 million man is playing like a $1 man. Get Jalen Hurts and, and see what he can do. See what he can do. But um, what do you think and how do you feel? Do you think there's a desperation move by the Eagles to get Jalen Hurts increase in time? I, time, I say yes. I say yes. They have to see what the kid can do. They have to justify the second pick. Or you believe this is not a desperation move. This is just something they're doing. Um, I can't even come up with an explanation for that if you don't believe this is a desperation move. This is 100% desperation People are trying to keep their jobs. Even though the report came out that Doug Peterson wouldn't be too, uh, too unhappy, but reports are reports. I believe he wanted to keep his job in Philadelphia. That's why he's doing this. That's why he's doing this. But this is Alcabeer, the analyst, Ghost.